Edison Crane pairs with his smarter, older brother Elijah to discover why their father was murdered by the man who wants them dead. Their search just may rewrite the origin of human history. Or will it? Let's find out in our review of Prodigy Slaves of Mars number two from Dark Horse Comics. See you in three. Welcome back to Comical Opinions. This is our review of Prodigy Slaves of Mars number two. What do you get when you combine hip, cool, super genius intrigue with a grand conspiracy of the earth-shaking variety? You get Prodigy Slaves of Mars number two and confirmation that Mark Miller's self-titled imprint, Miller World, is delivering the most eclectic, entertaining, and imaginative comics around. Before we dig into the current issue, let's recap what happened to Edison Crane in issue number one. His company, assets, and entire life were returned upside down by evil genius Froth Schrader. Wounded and on the run for a murder he didn't commit, Edison arrives at the Baltimore doorstep of the only person who might be able to help, his older and smarter brother, Elijah. That brings us to the current issue, Prodigy Slaves of Mars number two. We begin with estranged brothers getting reacquainted as Elijah patches up Edison's wounds. We learn through their conversation that Elijah is the smarter of the two and he chose to drop off the grid years ago because the pressurized stress of their constantly hectic lives became too much. Elijah is fine with helping Edison get back on his feet, but he has no intention of going after Frost Schrader to avenge their father's death. Writer Mark Miller starts the issue on an informative note by introducing Elijah informing readers of his family history and establishing a contentious relationship with Edison. Miller continues to show he's a master at new character introductions by telling you so much with very little exposition or overblown narration. It's laser precise efficiency and authenticity through their conversation that makes all the difference in the world. Unfortunately, Froth Schrader pops up on Elijah's big screen TV and tells the brothers the cops are on their way. Realizing he has no choice but to get involved, Elijah and Edison flee the apartment and make a beeline for the research facility and the Mars project their father was working on. After a few brief stops to find weapons and concoct useful knockout and truth serum drugs, the brothers infiltrate the facility. There they find several startling secrets. Mark Miller wisely doesn't waste time with the trip or supporting scenes that don't contribute meaningfully to the main plot. There's a bad habit among modern writers of slowing down, explaining everything, and wasting time on minutia that nobody cares about and really just isn't particularly impactful. Miller here wastes no time and leaves the explanations to organically crafted exposition dialogue. Inside the research station, Elijah uses a homemade version of truth serum to get the guard to spill the beans on their father's project. A space mission to Mars never made it past the moon, but the research station holds many artifacts of Martian origin pointing to an alien species that ruled Earth from Mars hundreds of thousands of years ago. What the Crane brothers don't know is how the project obtained the artifacts, why Froth Schrader is after them, or what their father discovered that got him killed. There's a lot more to this issue, but all we'll say for right now is that the issue concludes with rocket bombs, and that's literally what it sounds like, mind-controlling butterflies, that's also literally what it sounds like, and the coolest brother a super genius ever had. Overall, Prodigy Slaves of Mars number two expands and improves on the first issue by introducing a perfect partner for Edison with common goals and instant chemistry. Mark Miller packs every moment with purpose and wit to make nerdy geniuses look cool as hell. Let's switch gears for a second and talk about the art. Stefano Landini's semi-realistic style is a smart choice for this brand of storytelling. Elijah has a relaxed charm that immediately puts you at ease through the clothes that he wears, his mannerisms, his gestures, and just the overall confidence in whatever situation he's in, which is precisely the right personality presentation to make this story work. Edison looks up to his older brother, and so you want to have that sense of familiar, familial relaxation, and it works perfectly here. Let's take a step back and look at the big picture. Despite their obvious rapport and contentious history, this series is the first time Edison Crane's family has played a part in his adventures or been mentioned at all. In effect, Elijah is a brand new character to the series, if not to Edison. Readers who might be wondering where Elijah might have shown up previously, don't bother, I mean, go read the back issues because this is a great series, but don't bother looking for Elijah because he's not there. This is his first time appearance. Final thoughts, what do we think about Prodigy Slaves of Mars number two from Dark Horse Comics? 
It pairs up Edison with his older brother to evade capture and find out why their father was murdered. Mark Miller just delivers a script packed with cool moments, gobs of charm, and admirable efficiency in moving a captivating story forward. Plus, Stefano Landini's grounded, semi-realistic art suits the personalities of the characters perfectly. Therefore, Prodigy Slaves of Mars number 2 earns a 9 out of 10. Admittedly, the first issue was fine, with maybe a bumpy spot or two. Not, not bad enough to be a problem, but enough that it was like, okay, this is fine. But issue number two will get its hooks in you. But what do you think? Are you a Prodigy fan, or is this your first exposure to the character? Leave a thumbs up if you are a Prodigy fan, and drop a comment below with which Miller World title you like best so far. Also, remember to click on the link in the description to read the written review, and check out all the preview images. Also, there's a link there to buy this comic to help support the channel, which would be greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for joining, and stay tuned through the outro for more reviews just like this one.